Okay, y'all, welcome to sixth grade, chapter seven, lesson two. We're going to go ahead and get started with number two. So you'll notice that I wrote PEMDAS across the top of my paper. So when I see that, I know I need to do a parentheses first. Well, I don't have any in number two, but I do have X lines this time. Okay, now seven and two. That doesn't mean seven times two. That means there are two sevens. So seven times seven is 49. Minus three to the second. That doesn't mean three times two. That means there are two threes being multiplied. Well, three times three is nine. Then I'm going to multiply that by four because that didn't go anywhere. Okay. So now I have in my problem, I have subtraction and I have multiplication. So I need to do the multiplication first. So now I have 49 minus nine times four is 36. Okay. Well, 9 minus 6 is going to be 3, and 4 minus 3 is going to be 1, 13. Okay? All right. Now we are going to do number 2 together, or sorry, number 3 together. Okay? And in this one, I do have X on it. So I'm going to go 2 to the 4th divided by 7 minus 5. Okay? So now I have parentheses. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite my 2 to the 4th and my divided by, and 7 minus 5 is 2. Okay, so now I've dealt with my parentheses. Now I need to deal with my exponents. Well, 2 times 2 is 4. Actually, let's go ahead and write this one out, guys. Okay, so there's 2 to the 4th. Now I'm going to do that divided by 2. Okay, that didn't go anywhere just because I... Rewrote just because the other one, the exponent got expanded. Okay, so now because the the base is the same and we're dividing by the same number as the base, I can take one of those times twos and the divided by two, and I can cross them off because they balance out. Okay, if I say times that by two, now divide that by two. So if I do, if I do four times two is eight. Now divide that by two. I'm still going to get four, so it's pointless for me to keep them. So now 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 again is 8. Boom. Okay? Okay. So this next one I'm making kind of fun for you. Okay? Okay. So Okay. All right, y'all. So, first we need to deal with the parentheses, but inside of the parentheses, there are exponents. Okay? So, I'm going to rewrite my parentheses with my other numbers still inside. Okay? So, now, 8 to the second is 8 times 8, which is 64. Okay, 5 to the second means 5 times 5, which is 25. Okay, so now I'm going to take that 4 and I'm going to move it over here to make it 40. So now I have 60 and 40. Now, if that's not common core math for you, I don't know what is. Okay, so now I have 100. And I'm going to divide that by 4 times 25, which is like having 4 quarters in your pocket, which is 100 cents for 1. Boom. Okay. So now you guys are going to do 5 and 6. I gave you a little hint here. Okay. Doesn't matter. There's an exponent. It's multiplied by 0. Use it. Okay. So we're going to go down to number 7. And we're going to do that one together. Okay, so it's giving us a number sentence. Okay, and we want it to equal 120. Okay, so of all the places that I could put this, I'm going to say 12 divided by 2 is 6. Well, 2 to the third after years of doing exponents, I know is 8 because 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 again is 8. So then I have 6 times 8, which is 48. That's not going to work. Okay. So that's if I do these guys first. Okay. If I do 2 times 2 to the third, okay, 
then I have 2 to the third is 8 times 2 is 16. 16, 12 divided by 16, well, that doesn't make much sense, okay? Oh, that might be because this is a plus sign and not a multiply sign. Sorry about that, guys. Goodness. Okay, so now I have 8 plus 2, which is 10. Okay. Well, 12. Somehow, guys, in our books, they use those parentheses to make this multiply. Okay? So now, 12 times. Okay, 2 plus 2 to the third equals 120 because 12 times 10 is 120. So they took the parentheses that were there and used that as multiplication. Okay. Sorry, guys, that one was a little confusing even for me. So I'm really glad that we were able to do that together. So your answer here is going to be 12 times. Two plus two to the third equals one hundred and twenty. They didn't say change the sign, so I don't know why they did, guys. But that one is what it is today. Okay. Again. It wants us. Hmm. All right, guys, it is changing the signs in. It's not just moving the parentheses. It's not just placing the parentheses. It's actually changing the signs. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys this one as well. Okay. It is going to be parentheses seven. To the second plus one minus five divided by three. Nope, times three. See, look at that. They did change all those signs right up. Times three. So they did not just place the parentheses. Okay, number nine. Now that you've got seven and eight out of the way. Number nine says Hugo is saving for a new baseball glove. He saves $10 the first week and $6 each week for the next six weeks. The expression 10, which is how much he had the first week, and six for the next six weeks. So 10 plus six to the second represents the total amount of dollars he saved because it's $6 for six weeks. That's two sixes, guys, okay? The expression 10 plus 6 to the 2 represents the total amount of dollars he saved. What's the total amount he saved? So, doing 10 plus 6 to the second equals 10 plus 36 equals $46. Okay? All right. A scientist placed fish eggs in a tank. Each day, twice the number of eggs from the previous day hatch. The expression 5 times 2 to the 6th represents the number of eggs hatched on the 6th day. How many eggs hatched on the 6th day? So, so we're going to do a 2 6 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sorry, it's hard to write another number when you're counting by ones. So, okay. So, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. 32 times 2 is 64. So now, to do 64 times 5. All right. 
Five times four is 20, carry that two. Five times six is 30, plus two more, 32. So 320 fish. Don't forget, or eggs, you can put eggs, fish eggs. Okay, there we go. Okay. You guys are going to do the lesson check on the back. You totally can. I believe in you. And we're going to do the star review. Says Annabelle sent $5 to buy four raffle tickets. How many tickets can she buy for $20? So Okay. So I'm going to write this out like a ratio because it's a little bit easier for me cuz I know that 5 multiplied to get 20, well, I had to multiply that by 4. So then if I just multiply the bottom by 4, you get 16 tickets. Lots of different ways to do those, guys. Okay? Okay. So, Gavin has 450 baseball players in his collection of baseball cards, and 15% of the players are pitchers. How many pitchers are in Gavin's collection? So, we know that when we want to multiply a percent, it is, we move the decimal over twice, so now it's 0.15, okay? All right, five times zero, zero, five times six, 30, carry the three. Five times four is 20, plus three, 23. Tick, tack, toe. And then one times 460 is going to be 460. Add those up. Zero, zero, nine, six. Okay. So now, but I have to go in one, two places. So one, two places. So 69 pictures. Okay. All right. How many pounds are equivalent to 40 ounces? Ooh, I love these. 40 ounces when there are 16 ounces in one pound, which means I need to take 40 and divide it by 16, okay? So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put 40 inside the box. I'm gonna put 16 outside the box. I'm gonna do some math over here and put my multiples of Four eighty. Hopefully, I don't have to go anywhere past that. Okay, so sixteen is not going to go into four. It will go into forty twice, which two times sixteen was thirty-two. Subtract, and I get eight. All right. So now, boom, boom, zero. Bring it down. Okay. So now, boom. One, two, three, four, five times 16 is 80. Subtract and get zero. So the answer, 2.5 pounds. Okay. All right. List the expressions in order from least to greatest. Well, all right. So let's see what they are. Okay. One to the fifth is just one times one times one times one times one. So one. Three to the third. Well, three times three is nine. Nine times three is 27. Four times four, 16. Eight times one, eight. So from least to greatest. So one to the fifth. Done. Okay. Eight to the first. Done. Four to the second. And three to the third. Okay, guys, thanks for hanging out for 7.2. Come on back for 7.3. See you soon.